Warwick's come to Croydon, where, according to the census, Frederick Senior was living in 1841. He's meeting historian Fern Riddell. Hello. Fern, I'm a bit confused about the family situation. So, can you figure out what's going on? Is it, as it seems, to be a bit, uh, a bit naughty? Well, I have some records for you that might shed a bit of light on this. Cool. So, I have a census record. We're now in 1861. And on here, we have Frederick Durbin. Yep. And he is here with Sophia, his wife, and one of their daughters. Very good. Very good. But for the same census, in 1861, we also have Fred, senior, living with another S. Durban, wife. Well, I never. And the entry below is a very ornate F. That's Frederick Jr. Yeah. Called him, yeah. So this is Sarah, then, perhaps? Yep. In Deptford, this one is. Yep. So he had two houses, or he was registered at two houses according to census of the same year, yes? Mm -hmm. Wow. He's pretty light on his feet then, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. That's excellent, isn't it? So I mean, it's, I mean it's, it is excellent. It's fun. <laughs> what a crafty thing. Yeah. He must have been stressed out, honestly. <laughs> I mean, one wife's bad enough, but mm. trying to... I mean, but she's got the name Durban. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was, like, put on here for effect? Because she couldn't have... He couldn't have married both women, surely? <laughs> no, he's not up to that sort of mischief, is he, as well? Well, a oh. few years before this census, we have a marriage certificate in 1856. Right. And down here... Look at that. Frederick John Durban, Sarah King. They did get married then? Yeah. Well, I never. What's the name of that when you do that? Bigger me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so he's definitely married Sarah while he's still married to Sophia. Was there a... What was the punishment for that in those days? It's punishable by um, going to prison. It's all a fine. It's very... It's, you don't do it. It's against the law. Bigamy is something we do see in the Victorian period. Because divorce wasn't really an option, relationships broke down, and if you wanted to move forward and you fell in love with someone else, you didn't really have a lot of options. You either had to wait for your first partner to die, or you married secretly and bigamously and hoped that no one would find out. See, we don't know from this document whether they had come to some sort of arrangement between mm. themselves. Look, we can't get divorced, love. It's a bit, you know, what it's like in these times. Yeah. I'll... I'm going to go live with Sarah, but for census, I'll put it on in look, and it will be fine. She'll go, yeah, yeah I look good as well. That could have happened, couldn't it? It could have. It's like a farce a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> it's a, you're trying to live these two lives at the same time and it's... it goes out one door, comes in another. <laughs> it's sort of... It's fantastic. And the fact that he was a postman, it's just... You couldn't have written this better, <laughs> I don't think. It's fabulous. Warwick's confirmed that his great-great-great-grandfather, Frederick Senior, had two families. One in Croydon, with Sophia, and one in Deptford, with Sarah, the mother of Warwick's great-great-grandfather, Frederick Junior. <laughs> Frederick Senior, he's a bit of a rascal, isn't he, really? But, you know, you don't know the circumstances. You know, we know, we know some of the story, but we really don't know what was going on in his personal life with his own wife at the time and, you know, the stress of having six children running around. I was surprised that he did also marry Sarah. But imagine if he hadn't met her, I wouldn't be here. And that's what this is all about at the end of the day, isn't it? How I became me and I'm here today. And it's all due to the fact that he one day met Sarah and indeed had a child with her, my great-great-grandfather. 
I hope it ended happily, really, but I don't see how it can, because somebody's going to lose, aren't they, in those situations? Either Sophia or Sarah's going to lose.